Hello, my name is CJ, and welcome to my July 2016 manga collection video. This is the short version of this video, so if you're just interested in what I own and you don't want to hear a lot of commentary, this is the video for you. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with this small shelf here, go over a few series that I put here because they were too big or there was some reason I couldn't put them on my other shelf, and then I shall move over to the glory, all of the rest of my manga. So be patient, I will get here soon. First off, I have the Tokyo Pop edition of Sailor Moon that was published in the late 90s and early 2000s. I have about half of these volumes and I want to collect them all. I have all of the Kodansha release of Sailor Moon, including the short stories and Sailor V. I have volumes 1, 5, 9, and 10 of the perfect edition of Sailor Moon. This is an edition you can only get in Japan. There are 10 volumes total, and I have the first and second volume of Sailor V from the Perfect Edition. There are only two volumes. Next, I have my glorious clamp shelf, starting with the first omnibus of X. I have Magic Night Rearth, Earth, Miyuki Chan in Wonderland, Magic Night Rearth Earth 2, the first, second, and fourth omnibus of Carcaptor Sakura. These volumes in the middle, the old edition by Tokyo Pop, cover what would be the third omnibus. I have all four volumes of Wish. I have the Omnibus of Clover, an uncompleted series. This is everything that was ever published of it. I have the first and second volume of Angelic Lair, uh, the new Omnibus edition. I have the first Omnibus of Chobits, and then I have the old Tokyo Pop edition of 5, 6, 7, and 8, and this would cover the second Omnibus that Dark Horse has, re has recently published. I have the first, third, and third volume of Subasa. I have the first, second, and third volume of XXXHolic. I also have the first three volumes of a little series called Kobato, and the first two volumes of Gate 7. Then I have Ranma Half, and this is actually a little bit confusing, so let me explain. I have, in omnibus format, volumes 1 through 24 of the new edition, and volumes 23 to 36 of the old edition. Now, when Viz was re-releasing Rama 1 Half, they actually did it right this time, and not out of order like they did with the old edition. So, oddly enough, if you were to read all of these omnibuses, and come to this point, and then just read this volume right here, this volume is actually supposed to be 25. So, this is 23 in the old edition, but 25 in the new edition. Yeah, gets super confusing. Next up, we have A Link to the Past. This was the manga that was published in Nintendo Power. I have The Art of Carcaptor Sakura, Volumes 1 and 2. There is a third one that I don't have. I have two issues of Shonen Jump that I got from Japan. They're very cool. I have every single omnibus of Dragon Ball, except for the new one. Oh man, I really, really want it to come out. I'm so excited because I can't wait to finish this glorious collage. And uh, the one volume of Jacko the Galactic Patrolman. Moving on to my next shelf, I have the first six volumes of Alive the Final Evolution and the eighth volume. Unfortunately, Del Rey never published beyond that eighth volume, so that's all we have in the States. I'm currently looking for the seventh volume. I have volumes one through 15 of Noragami. I'm getting the 16th one soon. And I have one volume of Noragami Stray Stories. I have all 27 volumes of Full Metal Alchemist with two volumes in omnibus format. I have volumes 1 through 4 of the legend, the heroic legend of Arslan. I have volumes 1 through 3 of Nichijou, My Ordinary Life. I have volumes 1 through 3 of Nanan Biori. I have the complete omnibus edition of Azuma Gadaya. I have Yotsuba volumes 1 through 13. Moving on to my little Japanese corner, I have the first volume of Silver Spoon. I have the first five volumes of Ozeki no Kuni or Kingdom of the Gems. I have One Piece, volume 35. I believe this one is volume 38. And then these two are, oh goodness, oh man, I'm quizzing myself here. Volume 77 and 78, yes. And then I have volumes 14 and 15, the Japanese editions of Soul Eater. I have the first volume of Beelzebub, and I have the first and sixth volume of a sports manga called Tepu. Moving back to my regular volumes. I have the first and second omnibus of Princess Jellyfish. I have this Legend of Zelda manga box set, uh, all ten volumes that are in there, and I'll show those off really quick. I have Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Oracle of Seasons, Oracle of Ages, Four Swords, The Minish Cap, A Link to the Past, and Phantom Hourglass. I also have the first volume of Helsing, the first three volumes of My Hero Academia, D. Greyman, 1 through 34 of the omnibus edition, 
And moving on to this shelf, which features books that were just too big to fit where I wanted them to. I had the first three volumes of part two of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Battle Tendency. I have a special edition volume of the first volume of Stone Ocean, uh, the first volume of Steel Ball Run, and the first volume of Jojillion. I have the manga adaptation of All You Need Is Kill, and I have the first this big edition of Inuyasha, which covers volumes one through three, and then I have volumes four, five, six, and ten. Moving on, I have volumes one through 18 of Attack on Titan. I got the special edition of 17, which had an OVA that wasn't featured in the original season. I have the first two volumes, first, well, only two volumes of Attack on Titan No Regrets. I have volumes one through three of Tokyo Ghoul. I have the complete omnibus edition of Uzumaki. I also have by the same author, Junji Ito's Cat Diary. I have the first two omnibuses of Parasite, the first two volumes of School Live. And moving on, I have the first volume of Requiem of the Rose King, the first two volumes of Dead Man Wonderland, volumes one through eight of Blue Exorcist, volumes one through five of the manga adaptation of Blood Plus, which was originally an anime. I have volumes one through nine of My Love Story, Digico's Champion Cup Theater, very out of print book, volumes one through six of Bleach in omnibus format, and volumes 21 and 27. I have the first two volumes of Pokemon Adventures, and going down here, I have three and four of Pokemon Adventures. I have a bunch of Monica manga. I have volumes one through three of the manga adaptation of the original anime. I have volumes one through three of the different story, volumes one through three of the rebellion story, volume one of Kasumi Magica, volumes one through three of Tart Magica, volumes one and two of uh, Homura's Revenge, volumes one and two of Homura Tamara. I have volumes 1 through 3 of Assassination Classroom. I have volume 1 of Chrono Crusade. I have volume 1 of Dura Ra Ra. I have volumes 1 and 2 of Trigun. I have volumes 1 through 7 of Blood Blockade Battlefront. I have Wanted, which is a bunch of short stories by the author of One Piece. I have volumes 1 through 23 of One Piece. Then 24 through 47 of One Piece. 48 through 69 of One Piece. And finally, 70 to 78 of One Piece. Wow. I also have uh, two character logs, Deep Blue Deep, which contains um, the Strong World chapter, and One Piece Green down here, right there. I have volumes 1 through 12 of Death Note, and I have the character data log book 13, or How to Read, which cracks me up. That title is just hilarious. Um, I have Soul Eater 1 through 3, Soul Eater Not 1 through 5, one Punch Man, Volumes 1 through 7. Boba Bo, in its one shot, and 1 through 5, which actually are Volumes 11 through 15, just they were called 1 through 5 uh, in the English edition. I have Blood Plus Adagio, the only two volumes of that. I have The Seven Deadly Sins, Volumes 1 through 13, and an old edition of Ranma Half, Volume 15. I have the first two omnibuses of Fruits Basket, one volume of Phantom Thief Jean, Astro Boy 3, which covers the Pluto arc, Claymore Volume 1, The Ancient Magus' Bride 1 through 3, and Nana Volume 1. And then these are just um, manga samplers that I've picked up in the past two years from different companies. I also have two of the One Piece art books, Eagle and Shark, and I picked up this volume while I was in Japan. Out here in my living room, I have two volumes of What a Wonderful World. I have Solonin, Girl on the Shore, the first volume of Good Night Poon Poon in like an omnibus format, the only two volumes of Fooly Cooly, volumes one through seven of A Silent Voice, Orange and the Complete Collection, omnibuses one and two, and the first two volumes of Twin Spica. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already and you want to, please like and subscribe. It would really help me out. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters. And until next time, this is CJ signing off.